Welcome to Virtual Ag Expo. My name is Linda Reimers and I'm from the University of Illinois Extension Master Gardeners Program. And we're here to talk about monarch butterflies. Did you know that Illinois has a state insect? The insect is the monarch butterfly. And it was chosen by a third grade class in Decatur, Illinois. And Decatur is in the middle of the state. You may have been there before. It was signed into a law in 1975 by Governor Daniel Walker, and that was a long time ago. That's when I was in school. I'm sure you've learned a little bit about insects in school and maybe in about a monarch butterfly. And you've probably learned that the insects change in form as they grow. Do you know what that word is? It's metamorphosis. You want to say that with me? Metamorphosis. That's a long word, isn't it? Butterflies and moths have a complete metamorphosis, and we're going to talk about that today. The first stage is the egg stage. Milkweed is the host plant for monarch butterflies, and here is a huge milkweed plant. This is the only place a female monarch butterfly will lay its eggs, so it is very important to the monarch butterfly. The female releases a little bit of glue on a leaf and then will lay just one single egg. It's usually under the leaf and kind of like toward the top of the plant. And that egg will stay there for about four days and then it'll hatch. And that moves us to stage two, which is the caterpillar stage, or the larvae stage. And the caterpillar does not look like its parent, the butterfly, does it? And what do you think a caterpillar does all the time? It eats, and it eats, and it eats, and it poops, and then it eats some more. And this is what it likes to eat, the milkweed. Now, can we eat a milkweed plant? No, 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 no. This is poisonous to us and to other animals, but to a monarch butterfly, it tastes good and it doesn't hurt it at all. So I wanna show you a couple little things. If you were deaf or you weren't able to speak well and you wanted to learn sign language, this is the sign for a caterpillar. So at the beginning, when the caterpillar is small like this, it moves pretty fast. But as it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, it can't move as fast. And one of the things that happens is it gets so big that it has to shed its skin because the skin is too tight. And that can happen up to five times in nine to 14 days. So in our life cycle, it started out like this and it's getting bigger and bigger. And then it spins a little bit of silk underneath the leaf it's kind of like gluey, and then it can attach itself. And it attaches itself kind of like the letter J. So that's where it's hanging, and then we move to stage three. Stage three is called the pupa stage. Many moths and um, other caterpillars spin a cocoon that's like made of silk. It's really soft, but not the monarch butterfly. The monarch butterfly creates a chrysalis, and the chrysalis is kind of, let's look, right in here. But you know, I kind of imagine it like a Jolly Rancher. And you know that tight little wrapper that it has? It's kind of like that. Well, it's in the chrysalis, so it's down in here. This caterpillar, it kind of like melts. It just goes to liquid. And then, you know how we talked about metamorphosis, it's going to change its form and it's going to create the body of the butterfly and the wings. So there we got to remember our word metamorphosis. So now we're going to get to our next stage and this is when the butterfly is going to hatch out of the chrysalis. But when it hatches out of the chrysalis, when it's still in here, not looking quite like this yet, it's all wet and it's all curled together. If you made the sign language sign for a butterfly, you put your hands like this, 
you cross them over and you link your thumbs together. But when it's still in the chrysalis, the wings are all really tight together and they're all wet. But the butterfly kind of like, kind of like squirts a liquid fat, kind of like when you are filling up your bicycle tire and all that air is pushed in and the tire gets bigger. That's what happens to a butterfly. And then slowly it opens up its wings and it can fly. And now it's an adult butterfly. The primary job for the adult butterfly is to make more, bu more butterflies, to reproduce. Um, let's look at our butterfly right here. One of the things we can see is the antenna, and the antenna is how it smells. But do you know how it will taste? It's with its feet. We can't really see its feet, but that's how it will taste. It's food, and it drinks nectar from a proboscis, and it kind of sneaks out like a straw when it's being used, and then it curls right back up, and it becomes really small when it doesn't need to drink the nectar. Uh, let's see. The other thing I wanted to show you was about migrating. Does anybody know what the word migrate means? Migrate means to change its home. They're going to live somewhere else. You know how cold it is in Illinois in the winter. Butterflies don't want to live in that. They need to migrate south where it's going to be warmer. So this is where we live, right in here. And it's going to fly. It could be up to 2,500 miles. It could take them weeks, five to six weeks to get there. But they're going to fly all the way down here with lots of other butterflies from North America. Or sometimes they might go over here, over here by California. And when they get there, they're all going to fly and land in fir trees. They're going to cuddle together. They're going to snuggle together, keep each other warm. And then in March, when the sun comes out and it gets warmer, whoop, they wake up, they find a mate, and now it's time to travel back up north. But they can't make it all the way up to the top. Usually they go like kind of up to here, maybe like to Texas, or they might be one of these southern states, because that's as far as they can fly. And what do you think they're going to look for? They're going to look for the milkweed, because that's where they need to lay another egg. Once they lay their egg, then we're going to start the whole life cycle again. And what we want to see is maybe this butterfly's eggs, and then the next butterfly's eggs, and then kind of like the grandchildren will come here to Illinois. I hope you enjoyed our talk about monarch butterflies. Keep looking for them this summer.